Before you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. Welcome to assignment number two. In this assignment, we're going to create an organizational report that shows the president, the vice president, and the managers of our company. We'll use Microsoft Word, and we'll start a blank document. The first thing I want to do is turn the paper sideways. That's called Landscape View. If I choose the tab called Page Layout, you'll see an item called Orientation, and it shows two pages, one of them being turned. The second one that we'll choose is called Landscape. Notice the change when I click this button. The page became wider than it was tall. Now I'm going to put in a brief title, Organizational Report, and then a description of our business. Following the description of the business, I'm going to press Enter and leave some space for what will become our chart. The charts that are created in Microsoft Word are called Smart Art. There are many options for Smart Art. Under the Insert tab, I choose Smart Art, and you will see all kinds of graphics that you can pick from. Process graphics, cycles, hierarchy is what we're interested in because we're creating a chart about presidents. I like this one called Labeled Hierarchy. You can choose something else, but you need to show a hierarchy chart. The default color is blue, and it shows where our text items will be. I'm going to double click the first item and type in president and then the bottom the next line down is vice presidents and then the third line we'll call it our managers you can put your name at the top for president of course I'm going to invent a student called Max Smith now for these items we're going to use some typical company names like the vice president of finance and the uh, vice president of sales you can create your own what I would like to do is add a third vice president, this time the vice president of operations. So I want to add a shape. Let's click on Max Smith and go up to Add Shape. I want to add a shape below, a new shape. And now you notice that we have a new blue item. This one I'm going to call the vice president of operations. Vice president of operations, he needs some people under him, so I will choose the Add Shape Below and there comes another one. Uh, I'm gonna click back on the Vice President of Operations and choose another to add shape below. I'm gonna give him one more. If you choose add shape above or sh add shape to the side, it'll create a new shape in a different place. Now, we need some new people here, so I'm going to invent some managers. Now, you may have noticed that I have made a mistake. I have the head of European sales underneath the vice president of operations. So let's um, add a new item here called the vice president or the head of Europe sales here. Head of Europe sales. And let's rename this one as the uh, head of information technology. Okay, now the interesting part is we get to change the format of our chart. Up here on this ribbon, we see all these different shapes. Some of them are three-dimensional. Some of them are different colors. Some are easier to read than others. You get to pick something that appeals to you. I'm going to pick one of the more readable ones up here. And then I'd also like to change its color. So there's a theme picker. All different kinds of colors that you can pick from. This one here seems to show the organization very clearly to me. Now I'd like to make my chart bigger so it fills up the entire width of the page. 
maybe a little taller as well. And then I'm done. I can save and print.